In this video, I will tell you about datum features. Datum features are basically used as a reference to control other features on the part. For example, you can say when you define the location of a hole, then you have to specify its distance from the datum surface on the part. So as the datum should be geometric features on the actual part such as a point or a plane as shown in figure A on the next slide. So center lines on a drawing are not used as a datums. In this figure you can see different type of placement of a datum features symbol. In figure A you can see feature surface and an instantial line. In figure B you can see the feature size that is the diameter and how you can show the datum. Same for C and D. In figure E you can also see the feature size figure F, G and H. So all of these figures are basically used as a placement of datum feature symbols. So you can use in your drawing accordingly. Datums are theoretically Z points, axis, line or a planes. So datum feature is a physical feature on the part that is being manufactured or inspected. It is identified on the drawing by a datum feature symbol. When specifying the datum feature, you should keep in mind the following things like corresponding to the mating feature to an other part to which the fit is required. It should be readily accessible on the part or be sufficiently large to permit its use for mating measurements and alignments. In this drawing, you can see a datum feature symbol that is used to identify the datum surfaces on a drawing. You can see this figure ke andar hamare paas jo front view mein height hai, yahan pe humne datum A apply kiya hua hai. Top view ke andar jo mere paas yahan pe width hai, uske saath datum B hai aur jo length hai, yahan pe humne datum C add kiya hua hai, jisko yahan pe as a feature control frame used kiya hua. It means the position of this circle from this point it is 1.43 inches let's say and the possible amount of variation in this distance is 0 0.02 while keeping in view the diameter of this circle should be manufactured at MMC and this condition should be measured from the reference datum that is A, B and C. The purpose of this feature control frame is that when you draw this circle here, the center point is the center point, this point is the distance hai, that is 1.43. is you have with respect to datum A, B and C. This is the feature control frame through show. Here you can see some specifications for datum feature control frame while when you drawing a datum feature on your drawing, keep in mind these dimension values. These values are according to the ASME standard. That is Y14.5. Here you can see a field and the unfilled. So you can use both, but preferably field style is better. Datum reference frame. Datum features are selected based on the importance of the design of the part. Generally, you can say three datum features are selected that are perpendicular to each other. So these three datums are called the datum reference frame or you can also say DRF. The datum that made up the datum reference frame are also known as the primary datum, secondary datum and the tertiary datum. 
Our data reference frame is provide a framework for eliminating the translation or you can say movement and rotation of which the free part is capable. Okay, now let's move to constraining the degree of freedom. Data listed in the feature control frame are basically applied to constrain the DOF or degree of freedom of any part with respect to the datum reference frame. So datum can be identified to constrain the degree of freedom of the part to immobilize it for inspection. So the free part shown here can translate or move back and forth in the H, Y and Z direction and it can also have rotation that is U, V and W. So it is said that the cis degree of freedom point to these motion. So if the part rotate on a datum plane A, the part no longer move in the Z direction, nor it rotate in U and the V motion. Now it has three degree of freedom. It can rotate in W and move in X and Y. Mean when you restrict the part in the Z direction or you can say a datum plane A then the part is not move up and down or the rotation in U and V direction is also restricted while constructing a datum A the rotation in W and X and Y direction is still possible mean the part is still move in the X direction or in the Y direction or it can also be rotated in W rotation. If we add an other datum that is B then we can further restrict the motion of the part and now it no longer move in the Y direction or rotate in the W. Mean after adding the datum B the part is now not rotating in the U direction or the part cannot be moved in the Y direction. So it has one remaining degree of freedom or motion in the X direction. Mean after adding the datum plane B the part is still move in the X direction while other movements and rotations are constricted. Finally adding the datum C it restrict the final motion that the part can produce that is in the X direction and now the part is, is stationary. The X, Y and Z axis may be specified on the drawing and in the feature control frame as needed for clarity. So adding these three datum primary, secondary and tertiary the motion of the part is restricted in any direction or rotational movement. On the screen you can see after adding the primary datum the part restrict 3 degree of freedom like translation in Z direction, rotation in U and rotation in V direction. So this datum is also known as the primary datum plane and here you can see these 3 pins mean to ye jo 3 pins hai indicate kar rahi hai ki jab aap part to primary datum plane ke upar place karenge to wo 3 degree of freedom ko restrict karega in this figure you can see after adding the secondary datum plane two degree of movements are restricted that is shown here by using these two pins mean translation in the x direction or rotation in the w you can also see both datums are perpendicular to each other as I am tell you before. Okay, now finally add the tertiary datum. Now you can see on the screen datum A and B are perpendicular to each other. Similarly datum C and A are also perpendicular to each other. Meanwhile datum B and C are also perpendicular to each other. And after adding the datum C or tertiary datum one degree of freedom is restricted that is translation in the y direction that is indicated here by this one pin in three datums ke add karne ka purpose ye hai ki jab aap apne part ki drawing banayenge 
तो उसके अंदर जो आपने डिफरेंट डिमेंशन की वैल्यू टू एड करना है वो आप किसी एक रेफरेंस पॉइंट से मजर करेंगे अगर वो पॉइंट आपका मूव करेगा तो फिर आप जो पॉसिबल वेरिएशन है आपकी डिमेंशन की वैल्यू के अंदर वो आप मजर नहीं कर पाएंगे सो फॉर डेट आपको डेटम रेफरेंस जो है वो एड करना पड़ता है लाइक यू कैन सी कि ये मेरे पास एट पार्ट है और ये मेरे पास एक बेस है जहाँ पे ये डेटम ए बी एंड सी अटैच टीम है और ये तीनों डेटम जो है आपके परपेंडिकुलर है जब हम इसकी मेजरमेंट करते हैं लेट से किसी पोजीशन की इस होल की अगर मैंने पोजीशन मेजर करनी है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस साइड तो ये जो डेटम है ए बी एंड सी मुझे इसके अलोन इसकी पोजिशन को सेट करना है ताकि जब इस प्रोडक्ट की असम्बली हो तो ये दोनों पार्ट इजीली फिट हो सके और जो रिक्वायरमेंट है जो फंक्शनैलिटी है किसी भी असेंबली की वो फुलफिल हो सके नाउ यू कैन सी डिफरेंट एटम सर्फिस आर लोकेटेड ऑन द पार्ट दिस इज द फ्रंट व्यू दिस इज द टॉप व्यू एंड दिस इज द साइड व्यू ऑन द फ्रंट व्यू यू कैन सी द लेंथ एंड हाइट ऑफ द पार्ट ऑन द टॉप व्यू यू कैन सी द लेंथ एंड विथ ऑफ द पार्ट ऑन द साइड व्यू यू कैन सी द विथ एंड हाइट ऑफ द part primary datum is attached to the height side of the front view secondary datum is added to the length side of the part and tertiary datum is added to the width side of the part okay now let's move to datum targets the full feature of the surface was used to establish a datum for the features so far designated as the datum feature as we covered before but this may not always be practical due to these three reason first one the surface of a feature may be so large that a dash design to make a contact with the full surface is highly expensive or too cumbersome to use secondly the functional requirement of the part may necessitate the use of only a portion of a surface as a datum feature For example, the portion that contacts a mating part in assembly. Lastly, the surface that is selected for the datum feature may not be the sufficiently true, and a flat datum feature may rot when placed on a datum plane. So, the accurate and repeatable measurement from the surface would not be possible. So, this is particularly so far surface of casting. forging weldermates and some other sheet metal and farm parts so the datum target is a technique that is basically used to overcome such problems that is explained before so in this method the certain points line or small area of the surfaces are selected as the base for establishment of a datum so it's not necessary to use target for all datums here you can see the drawing specification for the datum target symbol and some example applications on the left side of the figure you can see the dimensions that you have to use while drawing the datum target symbol on the drawing and on the right hand side you see various kind of applications are acceptable for placing the datum target symbol like you can add datum target symbol without the area size you can add the datum target symbol with circular target area that can be used in these two methods datum target symbol with steer target area similarly datum target symbol with rectangular type of target area so select those datum target symbol that best suit in your drawing environment okay now locating the datum target point on the screen you can see a drawing that indicate the datum target point like this here you can see a datum target area with circular type here you can see again datum target area that is related to a circular type but here the highlighted area is not shown while here highlighted area is shown here you can see a stair type 
datum target area and here you can see a rectangular datum target area here you can see a dash ladder that indicate the opposite side of the part sometime after drawing the opposite part hai jo aapko drawing mein kisi front ya side ya two view se dekhne se nazar nahi aa raha aur aapne us point ko target karna hai through datum target aap usko dash line ke sath indicate karte hain and here you can see a continuous type of line feature control frame some geometric tolerances have been used for many years in the form of knot such as parallel with surface a within point 001 and straight within point 12 but all those such nodes are now obsolete and the reader should be prepared to recognize them on older drawings so the current method is to specify the geometric tolerance by mean of the feature control frame as indicated below इस फीचर कंट्रोल फ्रेम के अंदर आप देख सकते हैं कि यहाँ पे मेरे पास ज्योमेट्रिक ट्रैक्टरिस्टिक का सिंबल शो किया हुआ है एंड हेयर इज द ज्योमेट्रिक टॉलरेंस वैल्यू एंड द बोस दैट इज इंडिकेटेड द फ्रेम एंड दिस इज द लेदर लाइन टू कनेक्ट दिस सिंबल टू सम अदर पॉइंट सिमिलरली हेयर यू कैन अगेन सी द ज्योमेट्रिक ट्रैक्टरिस्टिक सिंबल फॉलोड बाय द डायामीटर सिंबल एंड एडिड when the tolerance zone is cylindrical and next you will see the material condition symbol and followed by the primary secondary and tertiary datum so the feature control frame is basically consist of a rectangular frame that is divided into two or more compartment the first compartment always start from the left side and contain the geometric characteristic symbol and the second compartment contain the allowable tolerance value where applicable the tolerance is perceived by diameter symbol and followed by the material condition symbol as shown here the other compartment of the feature control frame are added when datum must be specified here you can see a feature control frame that showing the order of element as well as the dimension values that is required to draw a feature control frame on drawing environment so whenever you add the feature control frame on your drawing you should keep in mind these dimension values and these values are according to the asme by 14.5 standard and here you can see the order of element that should be followed while placing the feature control frame on the drawing